Hey, what is up guys, it's your boy Raven here today with another deck tech and another deck analysis. Today I'm bringing you a Greninja Zoroark deck. Before I'm gonna show you what's inside, I just wanna uh, take a time and say thank you for all the support uh, with uh, the news videos and everything. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and I'm Raven, a Pokemon trading card game a streamer. So don't forget to also check me out live on Twitch from Monday to Friday 9, 9 a.m. CT and also 4 p.m. CET. Uh, that's Raven called Snatchku stream. But let's go to the deck. So it's a Greninja's or Arc deck. So main idea of this deck is you want to use Dark Pulse, right? So you want to have a lot of energy on your board. Well, that's great, but what about the Dark Union GX? We also want to use him during turn 2, turn 3 to bring our 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 uh, Incineroars to the table. Why Incineroars? Well, Incineroar has an ability that brings the energy from the deck to the board. But let's just go card by card and I will tell you why this specific card, not any other card. So, we start with a Ditto. Why we have a Ditto? Ditto is for Naganadol and for the baby Naganadol because we have a line of 2-2 two, two baby Naganadols. Why we have them? Well, it's an additional way to bring back the energy from the discard pile onto the board. Then we go to a Darkrai Prism, amazing card with a Nightmare Star, actually pretty pretty cool attack. Uh, pretty cool ability for your turn one if you have you know some energy in your hand you can attach two energies uh, onto him right as you play him from your hand so definitely another energy acceleration right over there then we have three Greninja Zoroark stack team that's all you need you don't need the fourth one I think with the fourth one it's clunky I like to play two on a board the third one yeah I tend to discard but you know three is the perfect amount of those guys then we have two incinerars GX for the scar charge uh, ability and we want to bring them back with uh, the GX of Zorak and Greninja with a dark union so you know we can accelerate the energy even more the Dene for uh, the Dene change which is in you know, a full refreshment of the hand during those first few turns uh, it's a really really cool uh, move then we have one Marshadow that can discard any stadium that's in the play you know resetting hole great card great you know card for a little bit of control over there then we have one tapu lele and that's it that's all it takes that's all pokemons in this deck now let's go to uh, let's go to uh the trainer cards let's go to the trainer cards and in trainer cards we have 34 trainers and we start with one acrobat and the acrobat is really good you now we discard one card so maybe it's going to be an energy you know additionally you draw like you draw two cards you choose one but no that's a draw of two that's how you have to look at it right then we have two beast rings that are gonna go really cool with uh, Nagandal because even if your Greninja Zorark is knocked out you can still use the beast ring on and accelerate the energy some more energy spinner again turn two if you're going you know second works pretty well with a dark ride but you know another way to draw some energy and we have three energy switches so you know we want to switch in between the energies uh, in between pokemon the energy and many many times you know even if you're going to play a dark cry you want to put the energy from the dark cry onto an active pokemon so you can actually use it turn one then we have three mysterious treasures three nest balls two pocket gears uh so additional search for um for for, for the support of course post rotation we're going to play four but now i think if two is okay one rescue stretcher four ultra balls black market and freedom force of course freedom force another way to discard things then we play two cynthia's three guzmas one lily one nanu two side sears one sophocles and two wishful batons on top of that 12 energy simple as that simple as that but effective honestly i detected it a lot i don't know if those games today uh, will show it We'll show you how deck uh, is good, but let me tell you, it is really, really good. Is it a tier 1? No, it's an upper tier 2. Sorry, definitely. Uh, I deck tested it a lot today. And during the stream, I had, like today and yesterday, I had a nice, like, I would say 75% uh, win rate. The worst win rate, I, win rate I had was against Baby Blacephalon. That was, um, I couldn't win. I couldn't win uh, against that deck. But against Reshi's art against others, that was pretty pretty cool. Would you like to go first? No, we want to go second, right? You want to use all the tools to be able uh, to attack uh, first. Ah, oh, that is a huge bummer. So we start with a dark cry. That is, <laughs> well, um, that is not something you really want. Uh, to be quite honest with you, you know, that's not a start you really really want. But we can we can deal with it. So definitely, I'm, what I'm gonna do is nest ball four. Uh, nest ball for um, 
Green Ninja's Oracle. And by looking at my opponent's board, I can tell this is a Gardevoir Sylveon Tag Team deck, which is quite interesting deck. You know, I like the idea of it. I just don't like the idea of Cutie Fly in it and Ribombi. Of course, you can say, yeah, but you know, that's a Ribombi. Uh, not the Honey Gather one, but the one that, you know, blocks uh, you from attacking the bench. You know, you can't play supporters there. Yes, and. It's an interesting way, right? You know, definitely, when you see ribbon base, you can almost also expect cards like all right, we got a sides here. You can also expect cards like um, baby nine tails. So be careful with that, all right? So since I'm going to be discarding a lot, so I'm going to discard Nagandal, and I'm going to go for uh, actually I can go for Tapu Lele. Wait, let me think now. I can go for Tapu Lele, and I can yeah, I can play Lily. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Tapu Lele, play Lily. Since uh, Sight here now is going to be good uh, a little bit later. So yeah, let's go for Supporter. There is a Lily. So I could have, yeah, I could have discarded uh, one of the energies here, but it is what it is sometimes, right? Draw five, let's go. Oh boy. Um, oh boy, that was uh, unexpected to say the least. So, yeah, that was definitely unexpected. <laughs> so this is gonna, you know, this, this means basically that we have to hard cast everything, right? You now, that's a turn from Magic Gathering, when you have to use all uh, the tools to actually, you know, uh, be able to cast something on the board here. We're gonna have to hard evolve, you know, we're gonna have to put one energy by ener one energy. Um, it's not a pretty sight, let's be quite honest about that. It's not a pretty sight. Looker, okay. That's interesting. Uh, we have another, of course, tag team. So, yeah, that was not a great start for us. But, again, I can see that you know, it was not the best start for my opponent. Uh, Adventure's Bag. So, Adventure Bag, definitely you know, a card that you don't expect to also see in, in, in uh, Gardevoir Sylveon deck, which is great. I like to see new things. Honestly, I do like seeing those new things. And we have a Choice Helmet and a Fairy Charm. Alright. So, Choice Helmet is gonna annoy me a little bit. But I think we'll be able to do, to go around it. But time will tell. It's okay. So, so two energies on Gardevoir. Another energy. So, what I'm gonna do is, because I really have to do something. Um, I can either play Guzma or I can play Cynthia. And if I'm gonna play Guzma, I can get a knockout first. But let's play Cynthia, right? Let's see what happens. Um, okay, Acrobike, another. And we have a Guzma for the next turn. <sighs> Incineroar. That's gonna be great if there's gonna be Incineroar. No, it's not. Okay, I can take Energy Switch. So you can see, like, you know, we turn after turn after turn slowly. Okay, so I'm going to play Energy Switch, and I'm going to switch this energy right onto the other Green Jazz Orc. So, if one gets knocked out, I can still use. Like, it's the same kind of principle that we use while playing uh, Guard of War Sylvian Tag Team. You always, you know, want to have energy spread. So, if something happens, you still have the energy. It's, you know, it's not that all the energy is going to get lost, and you have to you know, spend two turns to rebuild rebuild uh, your 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 board okay let's go come on green's exploration again great card uh, it might be an ultra ball for ribbon bay I need to, sorry uh, I need to drink something because I am Thursday okay that was an unexpected what a break well, it's okay, we have a Guzma for next turn, so... I can either play Guzma on... Cutie Fly, knock it out, and actually start a combat. Or I can hope that I'm gonna draw something cool here. Either way, you know, we are out of range for now of uh, Gardevoir Sylvia, so that's kind of cool. And that's good, because, you know, being in range of those attacks, 
Ow, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Okay, so we might see a Guzma here. Okay, fairy song. Okay, so on one of the turns we're definitely gonna see Guzma. Uh, rescue stretcher. Great, okay, so rescue stretcher works for May. So this is gonna be a little bit of energy acceleration on my part. Charging up. But it's still not enough to actually knock out uh, something like Guard of War Sylveon. And I think it's going towards, you know, towards the GX move. So let's play a Sightseer. I'm not gonna discard anything. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I still have a Guzma. Mm, I can't play a Nesbol right now, really. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Oh boy. Again, even with a choice band, he's still not knocking out uh, my Green Resort Rock. So I'm cool with that, and I think he's gonna use a GX move. Uh, with uh, with 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 uh, the additional three energy, so this means that I'm gonna shuffle my hand into a deck. Am I scared of that? Um, I mean, a little bit, definitely, you know, a little bit. But okay, that's a super scoop up. It did work. So yeah, we're gonna see a uh, we're gonna see that GX move with a knockout on the dark cry. Mm, sixth energy. And honestly, you know, I'm kind of okay with this. Um, Darkrai was, you know, just uh, another another card that I need to get rid of. But again, if he's gonna knock out Grindra Zorark, well, I can't use Beast Ring, right? So I have to be careful, really careful here. But at the same time, I will at least know that he's not gonna use a GX move later. So. All I need to uh, worry about is Kaleido Storm when he's gonna use the attack to actually switch stuff around. So come on, I know you want to do it. I I know you're ready. Let's just go for it. Okay, another choice helmet. Sure, I guess this is still the same one. And as we said, that's a GX move. I'm shuffling my hand. Okay. So it begins. Oh. Dark Pulse. That's 100 damage only. Oh boy. The Beast Ring. The Beast Ring. That was the draw for us. Not good. So he's going to use Kaleido Storm and he's going to put three energies on the active card of War Sylveon. Which means I somehow have to add a ton, and I mean a ton of 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 uh, energy, because I can't really retreat. Like I can, but hmm. The Dene. Oh yes, fresh six cards. Let's go. Fresh six cards. Oh, this is gonna be quite interesting. So let me think now. I'm gonna discard them both. Right? I'm not gonna go for anything. Uh, black market. And I'm gonna just use the Dark Union GX. Uh, yeah, I like the normal art norm uh, more than than the full art. So I know he's gonna knock me out here. Like he's gonna now go down to actually three prize cards since we have the black market still in play, and the energy is not gonna go anywhere. And I have my energy acceleration now ready to go. Perfect. No energy. Yep. No energy in the discard pile. So I think what he's gonna do is 
Kaleido Storm for a knockout. All energy is gonna go onto the one on the bench, because that's you know the correct play, I think, here. Uh, or Acerola, actually. Okay, so Acerola is, is is the play for him. Also, you know, not a bad play. Um, but he cuts himself out of, you know, those three energies. Like, of course, you know, he can attack, put those energies uh, onto a benched one. But that's a really, really interesting move. Like, it feels like, you know, he's playing a unknown hand here. But yeah, Kaleidos Storm for a knockout. It's fine. It's honestly fine. Only two prize cards. And now the game begins. So on top of Lele, let's spread that even. Okay, so let's go. Perfect, that's an energy. So I'm gonna put this energy here if he's gonna play Wondrous Labyrinth, right? So this is like me. Uh, preparing for the Wondrous Labyrinth, actually. Okay. Is there energy in the discard pile? No. That's all I can do, right? I can only attack, so I'm gonna attack. And... Choice Helmet. Choice freaking Helmet helps him. Ah, oh boy. Choice Helmet. This is not giving this deck of justice, oh, let me tell you. No, it was, you know, we got a slower start, definitely. Um, again, we're facing good deck against a good deck. Uh, great matchup, so I can't, I can't, you know, say anything bad about it. Now I'm just thinking what to do. And I kind of have an idea what to do. Um, depends on what he's going to get. Well, I'm doing a lot of um. I've realized that. But it all depends on what he's going to do. Because I think you know, he was looking for Acerola, maybe for a Max Potion, uh, maybe for a Switch. Because he has the energy, right? He has the energy needed in his hand. Um, we know that. From you know, okay, so it's a Guzma. Guzma is gonna go on the Gandal. Oh, and okay, on the Cinderor. Fair charm ability. Okay, so I can't harm him with my Incineroar. Now this gets interesting. Oh, come on, this is getting interesting because. I have to get it, Guzma. And I know I have three of them, right, in my deck. There are 21 cards, three Guzmas. <sighs> 150 Kaleido Storm. <laughs> okay. Come on. We have to get a Guzma. The one time, the one time you needed a Guzma, one time you needed your boy. <laughs> and there he is, there is your boy. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, the one time, right? Like the one time we really, really, really needed the stop deck. There he goes, right? There we have a top deck. Oh, that was incredible top deck. That was an incredible, incredible top decking. So now it's getting interesting. Let me tell you, this is getting interesting. He wants to use Kaleido Storm, uh, like with full force on me. And I have the three energies on the Zoro Ninja, so I am kind of preventing myself from Wondrous Labyrinth. Plus, we have a Black Market on the board, which means that even if it's gonna knock out the Greninja, well, there's still one more prize to go. But if I'm gonna knock out the Gardevoir Sylvian, well, sorry, Raven wins. But I have to do it smart, I have to be smart about it. Uh, he still can't play a Guzma on our, you know, benched Incineroar. Let me check.
Wait. Did I miss that? Wait. Yeah, so he plays Guzma on Incineroar. And we're gonna see a knockout on Incineroar. Okay, is he is he going to use Zernia's ability to actually no okay. So that's a knockout. Uh, he takes one prize only. One prize only though, so that's fine here. Okay, let's go. Uh, charging up. Poke gear. And I have a Guzma. And I know I can use him. Okay, Dark Pulse. I know it's not enough. I know it's not enough by one energy, yeah. By one energy. But um, I play Poi Poi, so for the future. <sighs> I just think for the future, right? All different things are for the future attack, for next turn attack. And even if he's gonna knock out anything on my band. Okay, so he plays Acerola. So he knows if he's gonna play Acerola, he can't knock out Grinja Zorark, and I'm gonna have the energy below Naganadal and below, you know, a uh, second one. That one hit KO Gardevoir. Come on. Like, this is it. Like, this is the knockout. And it's like, this is the problem, you know, with those basic, right? Sometimes basic tactics that you know you wait for this huge attack for this huge moment and it all comes down to this and okay so he's playing Guzma as I thought so no Acerola actually he knows that I have a Guzma he knows that I have a Guzma that's a game that is a game that is a game for us why not Acerola no why not Acerola? Like he knew, he knew we had a Guzma. That is a game, Dark Pulse, three prize cards, bam, get out of here. What a win, what a win that was, what a win that was. Let's go to game number two. Uh, so you know, you kind of see how this deck performs right now. It's, uh, you know, we need some luck with a deck, that's, cr that's true, that's correct. But also, um, the planning is here, like where to put the energy, what to do, how, which is you know, quite, quite, quite nice, and I like that way. <laughs> I honestly do like it this way. <laughs> Would you like to go first? Uh, no. No, sir, uh, I don't want to go first. Come on. Ah, that's a mulligan, but he's mulliganing as well. Okay, perfect. So we're both gonna have additional cards. We start with a Ditto. Um, not the best start in the world. Because almost like, you know, starting with Poi Poli, right? At least that was not a <laughs> Dark Cry. And it's another, okay, it's so another Mulligan. Great. So he had two Mulligans. So we're definitely gonna draw, draw two cards out of it. Which should help us. Of course. There we go. Okay, so he does not know what we're playing yet. Because he sees Ditto, right? Ditto. And he goes like, wait, what? Ditto? Lily out of the gate. And that is a... Okay, that's a nice idea for a Blastoise, by the way. So, Acrobike. That's where I'm going to start. 
And I don't really want to, but I feel like I have to play a Cynthia here. So we both have not a really good start. And this is, oh yeah, look at that, so we went second. This is, this is gonna be great. Okay. So. Energy gun is gonna go from a hand. There goes Darkrai. And for the future we're gonna have two energies in the discard pile. Yes. So that was actually a pretty nice turn. Oh, and we got a Guzman energy switch. Oh my goodness. So... Oh, I... We almost pulled it off. We almost pulled it off. Um, Poipole. Okay, so I'm gonna play Poipole. Oh man. Oh man, like that's what you want to do, right? You know, uh, if we had, you know, if we started with Greninja's Arc here, that would be, you know, attack turn one. But still, you know, it's still okay. And next turn, I'm um, going to search for, with Mysterious Treasure, we're going to go for Naganadal. Assuming, you know, and I think Ditto is going to get knocked out. And that's a fair assumption, to, to be quite honest. Okay, that's a baby uh, Blastoise. Pokemon Communication. And a Blastoise GX gets uh, gets 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 uh, put back to the deck and we're turtle, so you know we're gonna see some hard casting as I call it. Uh, ho, ho, ho. That's gonna be interesting. Like he knows what he's playing against, I know what I'm playing against. And as I said, Ditto. That's why I did not put energy near the Ditto. So, you know, he gets his one prize card. Eh, let him have it, right? That's kind of the idea of that. You, you let your opponent have something. And then you take it. Then you take it hard. Alright, let's go. So, actually, I kind of made a mistake. Uh, I could have actually played something else. I can play a Guzma. Well, it happens sometimes. So, Mr. Treasure is going to get... Uh, discard it. and I know I can actually go for Tapu Lele here. So I'm gonna go Tapu Lele and I'm gonna go Cynthia again. So there goes Black Market. Tapu Lele. And let's go for Cynthia. Alright, so we're gonna start with fresh six cards. Of course, you know, I could have uh, went for Nagandal, as I said I'm gonna do. But I think, you know, top play is a little bit of better, better play here. And look at that. Uh, surprise, surprise, we have Ultra Ball. So I'm going to discard Energy and Energy. Nesbol and Sophocles. And I'm going to go for now for Nagandal. We have the Energy now that I kind of need. Of course, the Energy is going to go uh, here, so we're going to spread it even. Charging up. And there we go. And a Dark Pulse. 180. <laughs> oh, I love that damage. I love that damage. Uh, I'm also scared a little bit of Blasted GX right now. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit scared of him. Okay, there goes Ultra Ball. So he got rid of almost everything, but he's gonna have the Blasted GX. Just like I shuffle back one of the Guzmas. I still have two Guzmas in my deck. Come on. Okay, there goes uh, Squirrel. And a Sightseer. So, again, let's put the energy somewhere. And fresh five cards. So I can discard my whole hand. No, actually, no, I'm just going to discard energy, so that's just in case, right? If something would happen, uh, I'm going to have cards in my hand. Let's get another tag team ready to go. <laughs> Guzma, there we go. There's your boy, ready to, to, to destroy the world. 
in Dark Poles. As you can clearly see, you know, uh, even though we did not get into Scar Charge from Incineroar, the deck performs really, really well. Wishful, Wishful Baton that we want to put on uh, Ranger Zorark. Of course, we might get knocked out after Powerful Squall. Like, it is an, it is an option that um, I have to think about, but... Does he have enough energy? I don't think so. I think he bricked. I don't think he bricked hard. That's going to be 180. Not enough energy, dude. Not happening because uh, it counts from his, right? From your Pokemon into... Okay, so it counts all Pokemons. Alright, so yeah, that's a knockout. If it counts all, that is a knockout. It's okay. Mm, so, I'm going to put... The Dene. So it goes to Dene. Two wishful batons. Charging up. Uh, huh. So let's gonna give me draw four. So let's go with Lily. Maybe I'm gonna get energy switch that I need. Okay, we did not have energy switch. So I'm going to discard both of them. Play more Shadow. And discard his. On Brooklet Hill. Done. Hmm. Uh, Pocky of 3.0, so he's gonna hunt hunt down my 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 Grinja's Orark. That was a little bit unfortunate. Um, what can we do? So I have to draw energy this turn. Maybe Viridian Forest, that's gonna be a great, great, great addition. Okay, that's one. That's a knockout. That's a GG. Yep, that's a knockout. Should have played. Should have played something else. A GG. Ay, 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 ay. GG. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, right? But at the end of the day, I highly recommend you checking out uh, the Grinja's Orak deck. I think, you know, uh, during the weekend I'm going to show you some more games with this deck. Because I really fell in love with, the, with it. And it has some really interesting interactions in between uh, certain, certain Pokemons. This game did not give it justice, let me let me tell you. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more deck decks, for more uh, gameplay, for more decks in general. And also forget to check me out live on Twitch where I'm actually building those decks and I'm testing them. And yeah guys, you know, see you in another news videos or in another deck video, in any other video we're going to post on our YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much. Raven loves ya. Goodbye and good night. <laughs>